10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... broadcast you are about to view was scheduled to be released on Friday, April 1st. However, you are in for a treat. Today, you will get a sneak peek of our April 1st broadcast. Welcome to Magnolia News at 1. Hey, it's Toby. And I'm straight up on G. Lyle Lethal. And welcome to the 2031st or whatever number it is edition of In the Club with Magnolia. Yeah, y'all gotta be club people to be hanging with us. Ain't that right, Lisa? That is correct. Mm -hmm. And we come correct. Absolutely. I mean, look at these ends. Look at these ends. This is what y'all can make. Y'all listen to us. Mm -hmm. So, I understand we got an opportunity for like DJing in our club. What you think? Sound like a great segment to me. All right. Well, if y'all want ends like us, you know what you need to listen to JT over here and he gonna tell y'all how to do it. Only what? Yeah! April Fools! Welcome to this week's 86th episode of the Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly Report. My name is John, and we have some bad news to start off our broadcast. This is going to be the last broadcast of the Magnolia Clubhouse News at 1. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast and we will miss you. April, April Fools! Our top story is our 5th Friday Day Fun Theme. Move like a slot. Matt should tell us about it. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew, aka The Witch That Wears Prada, and this time it's week five of Theme Fridays, and this time, yes, our theme is move, like a sloth. Sloth? Yes. So it's time to slow down and really smell the flowers. So when those TV screens turn on and show the sloths doing their thing, it's going to be monkey see, monkey do, or rather, do as the sloths do. You do you, just at sloth slow speed. That's all. Everybody, guess what? I have great, fantastic news. We are going to have seven, seven new clubhouses in Ohio. Thank you all. We are going to work together to help them all out and uh, let more keep coming. Sounds like fun. We have yet another employment spotlight with Scott, who has worked at Anans for 18 years. Hey Magnolia Clubhouse, this is Sherry and I have Scott right next to me. He is our employment spotlight for this week. Um, Scott, welcome. I'm so glad you were here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right, so I just got a few questions for you. Okay. Scott, how long, you know, where do you work and how long have you worked there? Well, I work at Heinz uh, Grocery Store on Green Road in University Heights, which is located in South Euclid. And I just marked my 18th year there just last Tuesday on March 15th. So tell me, what do you enjoy about Heinz? I mean, I know you enjoy something. 18 years, that's amazing. Yeah, I enjoy the atmosphere, the people, and my associates, and uh, uh, just being able to really uh, accomplish things and really get uh, uh, things done uh, in a fast and efficient way. 
and really just keep things uh, clean and all that. These past couple of years with the pandemic, we really had to really crack down and keep uh, things clean. But I just like being around the people because I'm a people person and I always see people I know there. It's just, uh, they've been good to me and it's, it's a great place to work. So another question, how has Clubhouse supported you in your employment endeavors? They really have supported me in just a, a great way. And they just, they, 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 they like the fact that I'm working and that's a great job and that's been good to me. And they like the fact that I've been there for as long as what I have been. So last but not least, uh, my last question to you is, you know, what is your advice to somebody who is looking to get, you know, out there and get a job? Well, if you're, if you are someone looking out there to get a job, uh, you got to look, look to see what's out there. Look online, look at the classified ads. And because it'll give you a really a uh, good perspective of what's out there and uh, what you're looking for to do and what's right up your alley and what you think you'd be good at. Well, you know what? I commend you on your 18 years. Oh, that is thank you. awesome. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm glad you're doing so well. I'm glad you like your job. All right, y'all. So that is the employee um, spotlight and we'll see you next week. Amazing job, Scott. Great in for you guys. Let's hear an update regarding the young adult group. Oh yeah, 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 Clubhouse, you know what it is, it's the YAs here, coming to take over the West Building, all that, giving out hundreds, fifties, we're gonna party all night long, tear it down, woo! April, April Fools! April 8th at 4.30, we're doing cooking and carts, be there or be square. Also, we have a podcast coming up called Thankful for My Problem, Season 1. Great work, Nick. Victoria. Teach me about sleep apnea. Hey everyone, it's Victoria at Magnolia Clubhouse, and I'm here to tell you about something about sleep. Sleep apnea is one of the most common sleep disorders. It can affect children as well as adults, and men as well as women. Trouble is sleep apnea is in many people goes undiagnosed, which can impact health, increasing the risk for high blood pressure and heart disease. Symptoms that make you suspect you have sleep apnea include disruptive breathing, morning headaches, extreme daytime fatigue, irritability, difficulty with clear thinking, and limited attention span. Snoring, needing to go to the bathroom frequently in the night and having a dry mouth or sore throat when you wake up are other signs. What causes apnea? Variables like smoking, sleeping on your back, family history, alcohol, high weight, nasal congestion, hormone conditions like hypothyroidism, and simply your anatomical features may cause, may be the cause. If you or your partner suspects you have sleep apnea, see a doctor who will help you determine your treatment plan. Lifestyle changes like losing weight, sleeping on your side, and reducing any sedatives you're using may be enough for some people to resolve the issue. Others, however, need special equipment either a continuous positive airway pressure or bi-level positive airway pressure machine to help keep their airway open during sleep. Thank you and I hope this um, helps you if you have this problem. Wow, that was interesting, Victoria. Thanks. Sherry, did you know concludes Women's History Month with Miss Elizabeth Cochran Seaman? Welcome everyone to Sherry Did You Know? I'm Kim and this is Sherry. Hello everyone. So for the, this last week in March, which is Women's History Month, we have quite the story. Hey Sherry, did you ever hear about Elizabeth Cochran Seaman? No, I never heard. What about Nellie Bly? No, not at all. Well, Sherry, did you know that in the 1880s, Elizabeth infiltrated in an insane asylum on Blackwell Island, New York? She reported on the poor conditions of the mentally ill. She used the pen name Nellie Bly. It then led to New York's government shelling out more money to improve conditions. I did not know that it could. Elizabeth Cochran Seaman as known as Nellie Bly, we salute you.
That sounds amazing. I hear we are getting a snowstorm. The last of the season. Jeanette, tell us about it. Clubhouse, this Jeanette Thorpe with this weekly weather. The highs will be 49. The lows will be 31. It will rain mostly through the week. So carry an umbrella. I can't wait for it. Indians, wait. We'll play. Just kidding. The Guardians. Did I say snowstorm? April Fools! Before I get to the quote, I have one myself. Life is short. Smile while you have teeth. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Ford, and the way I see it, uh, um, the way I see it, if you want to fill up with the rainbow, you gotta get through the rain. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Yours was better, but it's for April Fools. April, April first, you are uh, you silly. So what's the social event of this week? Elementary, my dear Watson, we found the murderer. I love a good movie. I'll be there for sure. Now on to Dr. Standard with standard number 11. all you happy people at Magnolia Clubhouse. I'm Dr. Standard and this is Fluffy. Today we will we'll be discussing standard number 11 under relationships. Responsibility for this operation of the clubhouse lies within the members and staff and ultimately with the clubhouse director. Central to this responsibility is the engagement of members and staff in all aspects of clubhouse operations. Discuss this in your afternoon unit meeting and remember the standards are the standards. <laughs> Thanks Dr. Standard. Did I hear we're having mud pie this week? April Fools! Hi, I'm Don, and I'm here to tell you about this week's menu. On Monday, we're off to a spicy start with chili. On Tuesday, the special will be marinated chicken over salad. On Wednesday, we have chicken Philly. Thursday, follow up there will be filet mignon with vinaigrette salad. On Friday, finally on Friday, there will be a lemon pepper fish on uh, rice pilaf. Sounds good. No mud pie. Uh, need I say it again? April Fools! Scott and Keith, what's going on with Cleveland Sports this week? Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports. I'm uh, this is Scott Trella. I'm Keith and Lakewood. Got a lot of stuff to get to so we'll get started. We'll first start with the Cavaliers as they head to Toronto tonight in a pivotal game with playoff seedings against the Toronto Raptors. Scott, the Cavs hold the number six position. What does this mean in going into tonight's game? Well, this is a very important game for the Cavs as far as the playoffs are concerned. And the, as you know, uh, the uh, uh, playoff seedings are concerned. The Cavs hold the number six spot and are one game ahead of Toronto, but are one game behind uh, Chicago for the number five spot. The Cavs really need to win this game against the Raptors tonight 
moving on to the Cleveland Browns, where the Cleveland Browns in a controversial move signed uh, former Houston quarterback Deshaun Watson to a five-year, $230 million contract that is totally guaranteed. Scott, what does this mean for the Browns, and what does this mean for Baker Mayfield? Well, for the Browns, this does mean uh, Watson has had some issues, but he is he is a, a heck of a quarterback, and they are now playoff contenders. As far as Baker Mayfield is concerned, the Browns will trade him to what team? That is still to be determined. And, and finally, everyone, Last night, the annual Cleveland Sports Awards was, uh, was held last night, and former Indians pitcher CeCe Spathia received the Lifetime Achievement Award. In 19 seasons in Major League Baseball, CeCe Spathia spent 11 of them with the, with the Indians. Scott, this is a high honor for a beloved former Cleveland Indian. It sure is, K.I.L. With uh, Sabathia spending uh, the bo uh, bulk of his career with the Indians and having appeared in uh, three World Series with them, uh, this was, those years were very special to Cleveland. And Sabathia was just one of the Indians' best pitchers when he uh, played with the Indians. Well, Scott, that's the end of our broadcast. That is the final buzzer and KIL. And Scott, your CC Sabathia on the mound. I need three strikes to get it out to say this. End it. And as I always end it with, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We're done. Thanks, guys. Last but certainly not least, our shout out for the week. It's me, April Fools. It's Jack. Hello everybody and welcome to the shout out. We would love to get a shout out to Mr. Jeffrey Ford. Jeffrey Ford has been making huge strides lately in having a more positive attitude and a more positive outlook on life. So we wanted to recognize that. What do you have to say? Um, I really appreciate it a lot for the shout out, you know, just you know, just doing what I can, you know, thinking, you know, you know, not letting my mental illness get the best of me too much. Because, I mean, that's what happens. Because, you know, because, you know, my mental illness makes me think negative about a lot of things. But, you know, the staff has helped me with that. And I genuinely appreciate all that. And, yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you, Jeffrey. So keep doing what you're doing. You're a good person and good things happen to good people. You got it. <laughs> good job, Jeff. That's all for this week. The communications unit, which produces this news program, thanks all contributors and encourages you to come up and join us if you are if you are interested in participating. Be sure to check out Magnolia Clubhouse Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed what you have seen this week, this week, then be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website and we maintain a presence on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm John. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone.